and thank you for joining us. This is No Sound Bites Allowed, and I am your host, Michael Voss, Dragon of the Southern Tier. I'm happy to be here with you this evening. It is June 13th of 2022. It is a Monday night, and we are reaching out to you because we just became aware of something that is potentially devastating for U.S. businesses. This is potentially devastating for some individuals across the United States. It is a scam, and we think you need to know about it as soon as possible. Now, we're going to get into the details of this latest scam, and we're trying to nip this in the bud. But before we do that, we want to let you know that if this is the first time that you're seeing our channel, we welcome you. We thank you for being part of our audience. In addition, we want you to know that we do long-form political commentary. And every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a live stream with you. We reach out on YouTube, Facebook, all the social media that the Internet overlords will allow to be able to hear what you have to say and to hear your voice about the issues that matter. You can text, call, uh, send in your chat from anywhere in the world to talk about what you think about these issues. And so we ask you every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to join our audience, our global family, to be able to tell us what you think about the issues affecting us all. Now, with that said, I think it's important to try and make this very clear. This is a public service announcement. We're trying to get ahead of something that we have found out about today that we believe will affect perhaps tens of thousands of businesses, perhaps hundreds of thousands of American citizens in one way or another. And this is something that will be devastating for people's lives. This could destroy businesses outright. And we want to get ahead of this. It is snail mail smears. And we're using the hashtag, hashtag snail mail smears. Now, you may say, well, what is this? Let me start with what you probably are already very aware of. The internet is a great tool. It allows many people to get together, to be able to share their thoughts, information, and for businesses to reach out to individuals. But like any tool, there are some individuals who will abuse those tools, that they will use it for a nefarious reason, whether it be political or whether it be criminal, it doesn't really matter. And that's why we see individuals who use fake mail generators. It's something that's very easy to find. Now, this is not necessarily a negative tool. It's something that you can use to avoid receiving spam. Again, it's how you use this tool. But we have seen that there are nefarious individuals, individuals who have an ulterior motive that will use something that should be for the public's best interest. And instead, they will do things like fake US, e, uh, U.S. Postal Service emails. They will in, impersonate the United States government or governments around the world. How many of us have gotten emails from a Nigerian prince who just needs your help and your bank account to cash $11 million, $10 million, $20 million worth of funds that have been suddenly frozen improperly? That some individual in another country has a name just like yours. And if you would just give your bank account, money will be deposited into your bank account so that it can clear because no other relative can be found. There are many, many stories across the internet that are very similar to this. And whether it's the United States government or a government around the world, we have seen these kind of attacks. In fact, one type of these fake emails that go out, it's called phishing scam. And you can see this from the Federal Trade Commission telling you how you can learn about these scams and how you can spot them. Links to the sources that we are showing you on the screen will be included in the description so that you will be aware of what these kinds of scams are. But there is a new tactic that is coming out now, and we have just become aware of it today, and we want you to know about this, because it's taking a new route, uh, something that no one has expected. But since there's so much attention, and so many people are aware of the 
fake accounts on, on the internet. Whether someone's trying to duplicate your face and your name on a fake account on Instagram, or whether they're trying to use a phishing attack to try and get into your business or into your bank account, we're aware of this. People have heard about it, and they're on guard. But there are other means that nefarious individuals, individuals with bad intentions, will use to try and take advantage of you. And in fact, one of the latest tactics is something that we have not really seen in a long time. It's using a system that you probably don't think about anymore. The U.S. Postal Service itself. Actual letters being sent to your mailbox, and that is meant to distract you. Your guard is up on social media. Your guard is up about the email that you get and looking out for spam. But you're not thinking about your mailbox, your physical, real-world mailbox. People have forgotten that criminals will use regular mail just as fast and just as often as they will use the Internet. In fact, before there was an Internet, they used real-world mail. Now, we, came, we became aware of this new insidious tactic because of someone we had interviewed. Uh, you may recall, it was back on March 26th of 2022 that we did an interview with Matt Brainerd, who is the founder of Look Ahead America. It was a great interview. We hope that you'll take a look at it. Now, Mr. Brainerd, like many of the people that we have interviewed, Dr. Art Laffer, um, Larry Sharp, and so many, many others that we have done interviews with, we stay in touch with them. We follow them on many social media platforms. And in this case, we do follow Matt Brainerd. And we saw that Matt Brainerd had a tweet that came out three hours ago today. I want to share that with you. As you can see, and I'm going to focus on this, Matt Brainerd announced today, three hours ago, that, and I quote, some lowlife is trying to smear Look Ahead America by sending out hate mail with our return address. Some letters had bad addresses and came back to our mailbox, that's Look Ahead America, and are now en route to the appropriate government agencies. And postmark Orlando, evil and stupid. Now, it doesn't matter what you may think about Look Ahead America, Matt Brainerd, his politics in general. It doesn't matter if you're on the right or the left. What is important is to know that this is the new tactic that we are going to see, and hopefully we can stop with your help, is snail mail smears. And our exact response to this tweet was that we said 52 minutes ago, seems like radical left tactics. When you can't make an argument, attack character to distract. Will be interesting to see if any major media push, um, push the smear and minimize facts to promote an agenda. Watch the headlines. Wonder who else are smear, snail mail smear targets. Now, I want you to think about this for a moment because it's very important. Yes, this has been used against Look Ahead America, a nonprofit organization that helps individuals to be able to register to vote, Democrats and Republicans, Libertarians, all individuals. And this is an organization that has been trying to promote the public knowledge about the January 6th prisoners, individuals who have been in jail for, in many cases, over a year for what has been charged just trespass, simple trespassing. And you may agree with this. You may disagree with this. You may agree with their efforts to help to allow parents to be heard and to be involved in the education of their children. Again, you don't have to agree with Matt Brainerd. You don't have to agree with Look Ahead America. What you should be aware of and what you should be afraid of is that if you own a business in America right now, the same individuals who are using this tactic 
against Look Ahead America may target your business. If you are someone like myself, an internet personality, small or large, they may use this tactic against you. And that should make you very, very concerned. We went into some greater detail in our post on Facebook. You may have seen this. And we had said, snail mail smears are like swatting. Now, you may have heard about swatting. Recently, Tim Pool has been the victim of over a dozen swatting attempts. This is a tactic that has been used and has caused people to die in the United States. And it's a, an attempt to silence individuals who are saying something that another group, whether it be political or personal, do not agree with, that their feelings are hurt, that they assume that this is a microaggression, and they go and try and attack that individual. Now, very often this is politically motivated. We have seen this come from individuals that are generally far left radicals. As an example, we have seen this taken to the fullest extent where we saw that a far left radical from California traveled to Maryland to try to assassinate a United States Supreme Court justice. Again, it doesn't matter if you are left or right. It doesn't matter your political views. What does matter, this is the extent of that radicalization, where they are attacking individuals they don't like. Individuals that have said something they don't agree with. And rather than trying to have a debate or to allow someone to understand what they think, they instead attack, they try to assassinate the character of an individual or a business. And in some cases, in the most radicalized and extremist of views, we see that they try to assassinate elected officials and destroy businesses. And that's what we are seeing here. And that's why it's so important. It could be you. And so they will do exactly what they have done against Look Ahead America. And that is that they're going to go out and they're going to make up a horrendous, hateful statement. They're going to mail it and they're going to send it out to people that know you or know your business. And that is meant to destroy you. Now, What's even more insidious and quite possible is that certain businesses may be working, certain news media outlets may be working with these groups. It could be coordinated, and this is the worst case you could see, where someone is writing a hit piece against a business, an organization, or an individual, and that is being timed with this hate mail being sent by other individuals. And they tip off that hit piece so that they will know that this hate mail has gone up with this organization's name attached so that they can then write in headlines and they can write in articles that this organization is a hate organization to try and use the United States government and public opinion to destroy that business and or that individual. And that could happen to anyone. If this is allowed to be successful and this works against Look Ahead America, there is no end to who could be next. And we are extrapolating here. But this is how bad this could be. It doesn't just end at destroying, defaming the character and the nature of an individual or a business. This could be used as blackmail, what used to be called green mail in the financial circles. Someone, the perpetrator, who has put out this false information will send out a small number of letters and then contact that organization, that individual, and say, if you don't pay me money, I'm going to leak this to the New York Times or to CNN or MSNBC. I'm going to make this public I'm going to go out to the news media and to say that this is what you're sending out, that you are a hate organization and destroy the character and nature of your business 
And even if it is proven wrong at some point, the damage will already have been done and your business may never recover. How many CEOs will say, I guess we have to pay because the damage that could be done is so severe, the business may never recover, even though every word is false, even though they never actually did that. That is a potential problem from snail mail smears. Another tactic that could be used here is against political campaigns. Again, it doesn't matter who your candidate is, but using this same tactic, an organization or an individual could use this tactic to try and sway an election unfairly and unjustly, knowing that the individuals they reach may actually believe the letter. And if this is matched up with a nefarious and less than scrupulous news media organization, that this will destroy a character, uh, the character of an elected official or a candidate and destroy their chance of being elected. So again, there are many aspects of how this snail mail smear can affect you, either by destroying a business that you may own, preventing you from being able to support a business or organization that you believe in, or destroying political candidates that you support and that you believe in. There are so many ways this could be used, and even to an individual level, to attack an individual to turn your neighbors and your local community against you just because someone had their feelings hurt, because someone didn't like the way you feel about an issue, whether it's pro or against abortion, whether it's either in support of the Second Amendment or against the Second Amendment, whether it's about any issue you could possibly name, just because they think you aren't on their side, that you don't approve of the agenda, the policy, that the ideology that they are trying to promote, they will attack you. This is so dangerous. And if the public is not aware, just like when phishing attacks first happened, just like we saw junk emails and spam emails, with all these uh, tactics trying to take your money and to destroy your life, the best thing that could possibly happen is to make the public aware immediately so that this does not have the intended impact and that the public knows to be aware of it and to be on guard because our guard is down when it comes to the postal mail our physical mail in our mailboxes. People aren't looking out for these kind of nefarious actions. So we believe it is a public service announcement. It is critical to make people aware that this is now being, that this is now happening if it is successful even once, even if it isn't successful. Other nefarious criminal individuals who have only their gain in mind will use these tactics to try and reach out and sway the average American citizen to abuse the power of the U.S. Postal Service and the trust that you and I have in the post office. One of the, and let me mention that one of the things you can do, as we can see in the email that was sent, that, that was sent in the name of Look Ahead of America, You'll see that the font is odd. It's not a professional style. Look Ahead America is a recognized nonprofit. It is a business. And as such, they use professional contact. So they don't write letters in this manner. They don't send out letters in this style. Look at the way that the letter is being put together. This is not professional. None of this is professional. This is meant to be dramatic. This is meant to catch your attention. It is meant to sway your emotions. It does not have who it is from. It does not have a signature of who it came from. It doesn't tell you which office. It doesn't have a date. These are all telltale signs that this is a fake document. 
that it's someone who made this on their home computer and printed out a couple of copies either on their home printer or at the local Kinko's and mass mailed this. Another thing to keep in mind, look at where this is sent from because Look Ahead America isn't in Orlando, Florida. That's not their office. As you can see by the return mail that was printed on this envelope that anyone who can look up, a, do a Google search on Look Ahead America or any other nonprofit, any other business in America, any other publicly known individual, they can find that address and print it on any envelope. No one is safe from this. The address from where that business is, where that individual may be, does not match the location where this was sent from. Look ahead, America, its headquarters is not in Orlando, Florida. So it tells you that something is wrong. It doesn't match up, that you should be on guard and you should be aware. There are many things that are not making sense in this letter. Now, I'd like to say that, well, your business will be safe because no one can access the private information in your business. No one will be able to access the private files of your contacts, whether it's donors, whether it's customers, whether it's other businesses. We would all like to believe that that information is absolutely secure and will never be released to the public in any way. And yet we know Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, they sell your private information. Many businesses, and especially social media, they sell your private contact information. When you sign that little agreement to join YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, that agreement that no one reads includes the fact that you are allowing them to sell your personal information. And so if your address is on there, it is possible that that is being sold to businesses and a nefarious individual could get that information. Does it take effort? Of course it does. But one thing that we have known about criminals is they will put in a lot of work to be able to steal your money to be able to sway you, to con you out of everything that you have. It is just as nefarious as stealing your life saving. At least that is our opinion. People aren't aware of this yet. Hashtag snail mail smears. We hope that you will use this hashtag, that you will make it public. We hope that you will spread this video and that there will be other videos talking about this, especially if it happens to even one more business, if even one more individual gets this kind of fake, hateful, false information. Because if we do not stop this, if we do not make these nefarious, extremist, radical individuals aware that they cannot mislead the American people, that they can mail out this misinformation, this disinformation, this deceit and fraud, if we do not make, them make these nefarious individuals aware that they cannot get away with this, we will see this over and over again. And the next time, it might be your business. The next time, it may be your candidate that you support. The next time, it may be you. I look forward to your support. Please share this video. Let people know about this. Use the hashtag and make sure that we stop these smears, these snail mail smears from going around and destroying lives because America is better than that. I thank you for your attention today. I look forward to hearing your comments about this. and. We hope that you will join us every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when we do our live stream across the entire world. I thank you, and I hope you have a great day.